fine, don't worry. <laughs> I can. You will notice that actually, in in the first one, I actually edited around your and Dave's chat about whatever it was. I can't remember what it was. Um, no, I can't remember what it was. It was a TV show or something, maybe wrestling. I don't know. Either way, pressing F9 now. Oh my god, you actually all did it. Well done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do the intro. Do the intro. No. <laughs> yeah, you, not, you stopped yourself. I know. <laughs> I was so shocked. I was so shocked. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer Channel. I'm the Humble Gamer. I'm online with Naz Dragon, Agent Iron and the Five Blades. Excuse my voice if it does sound a bit croaky. I'm still not very well from last week. Uh, we're back That's on Elite warm. Dangerous, and it is fucking warm. Oh my god, it's so unbearably warm. Uh, but not in space, where I am. Roughly. <laughs> did you see? Did you see the segue? No. That was beautiful. Where I am now, exactly. Uh, I liked it. I am now, thank you Naz, I am now exactly uh, 5,005 light years away from Earth. Or at least right. from my court, from my starting destination. Quick update on my space journey. Um, I am there. Well, I'm in the blue oh, one. There. Uh, and I am heading to Colonia. Now, I have actually, um, I have chatted to people on the Frontier forums and I have the actual coordinates for the cardinal points of the compass. So... How, how active is the old Frontier forums? Uh, reasonably active, actually. I put something up and within 20 minutes I had, I had about four or five replies. Oh, it's a really, it's a really nice community. Although someone did point out, because obviously I said, you know, um, I'm trying to do all the compass points, and someone did make a point of pointing out that uh, it's been done. I'm like, I know it's been done. This game's been out for years. Of course it's been done. Like do it. The thing is with this game, most things you can think of doing on this game have already been done. You know, yeah. one of my other plans was to circumnavigate the galaxy. Already been done. <laughs> wow. Already been done. And That's insane. People are now treating circumnavigating circumnav circumnav the galaxy like how people, some people treat Lord of the Rings. They just do it once a year. <laughs> Um, but the, the, there was one guy who did it, and I, I'll try and find the link to his uh, voyage in the and put it in the description below because it's a, it's well worth a read actually, because um, he's got a wonderful map and everything. But he actually said he spent 12 hours a day playing the game. Um, a couple yeah. other things I have found some uh, some I found about three Earth-like planets I think so far, but as yet I haven't actually found anything that was worthy of turning the camera on. Um, <laughs> Tragic, it? it is. I've travelled 5,000 light years and I've had... Yeah, I'll the camera on this. It's not good enough. Space is pretty big. Space is huge and so when... ultimately quite dull <laughs> yeah. to travel through, so which is why you're getting yeah. short diary entries from this point on. You've seen me th do the big launch, you've seen me do uh, some mining in the last episode. I am now just going to do quick, short, five, ten minute diary entries unless something interesting comes up. I, I've discovered about another, since you guys saw me 4,000 light years ago, I've seen another, I would say about 40 unexplored systems where I was the what? first man yeah. there. 
Because here's something I've always been fascinated by with Anchor. Okay, yeah. What's the... Because obviously you're going for a long period of not seeing a lot of space stations. Yes, yes I am. Is there a point on the other side where there are a few then? Nope. <laughs> I am heading to uh, the Colonia system, which has a settlement in it. Um, on a planet. It currently has a space station, Jaxport, at time of recording. However, that station moves regularly. No. Um, the reason it's there is because it tried to jump to the centre of the galaxy. Um, but there is also, in the colonial system, there is also a, a, a base on a, on a planet, which I'm going to use as a... I'm going to use as my what base. What try to jump to the centre of the galaxy? What? There's a lot of lore about Jack's port. I will put a link in the description below, and when I've got a session where these guys aren't online, I'll go through the whole story with you guys, probably in the session before I get to Jack's port. Um, nothing to do with these guys, it's just it's a fucking long-winded tale, and it would take up pretty much all of their night. Is it the space station from Deep Space Nine? No. Yes. No, the space station from Deep Space Nine was called, and this will shock you, Deep Space Nine. Is it the space station from Babylon 5, which of course, I'm assuming you're going to tell me, it's called Babylon 5. <laughs> um, yes, actually. I mean, technically, the Babylon 5 was a ship. Babylon 5 was a station. Oh. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> why <are you> definitely. <laughs> why, why, why are you questioning that, me you know, on Babylon 5? I'm all about Andromeda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, we should point out, Dino John Jules, famous for playing the cat in Red Dwarf. Um, the English version before you, before any Americans type in. No, he wasn't. No, he was. Um, don't think they actually had a cat in the American version of Red Dwarf. I think you had a dog. I'm not sure. Wait, what? There was an American version of Red Dwarf. There was, was, an, there was an American version of Red Dwarf, and they had and know? they had one good line because it was a different style of comedy. But uh, British sitcom was much more story based. Was the American one had stories, but was very much one liner based. And they had one brilliant line. It was. Um, wait, you mean I've been? What do you mean I've been in stasis a million years? You've been in stasis a million years. I had to wait for the radiation. A million years? Think of how much my baseball cards will be worth. <laughs> that was the one good line. Yeah, it's, it's right. based a lot on utopia. Things in America are perfect. So, yeah, to so have a good thing happening was very normal. Yeah. But for us, we have to suffer discomfort. We have to just assume that everything's up. crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great Britain, yeah. The, only co the only country where there was a, a book published called Crap Towns and they had they had to publish a book, a, a book called Crap Towns 2 because so many people complained that their town hadn't That's made it in the yeah, first book one. that is God's honest truth internet Britain did that oh, no, it's too warm I'm sorry it's too warm. I'm, I'm getting really stupid the past couple yeah. of weeks. I'm blaming the heat it is it is very warm and I think as such YouTube just it because it was warm just because we will not be making a hell of a lot of sense for much of the rest of any recording we do tonight. Good. Warm guys. Rossi, you want is someone is someone on a treadmill? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just cold air It really was actually. It's just me throwing my clothes about trying to fucking get some cold air. Sounds like punching your own balls. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's Repeatedly. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I think on that bombshell, um, I'm going to carry on jumping. You'll see me again at the 10,000 kilometre mark in week four. 10,000 kilometre? 10,000 light year mark. <laughs> so Holy funny. shit, it's so warm, guys. I'm not, I've not been well and it's really warm. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Not just to me, but to the three gentlemen I'm with as well. Um, check out their original, the original Elite Dangerous footage below. We will come back once I've done this, or I might make a second account, and we will probably come back and do some Elite Dangerous together. Um, yeah. I probably will just make a second account, actually, to do those on two different things. So, um, but thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you very soon uh, in about 5,000 light years. I was me, they were then. That was Elite Dangerous. We're heading to the centre of the galaxy. See you soon. Bye. Who's that in front of me? It's neither of you two. Well, unless it Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Naz! Whoa! Just shoots past me and goes careering into the... Oh, it hurts. There's Russ's shit. Just, just there. Fuck! Whoa! As Naz takes off some of Russ's shields.